Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Random Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we basically did Viridian City and Viridian Forest, so now we're going to head down to Route 1 and head to Pallet Town. We are going the original route, and there will actually be trainers in here, surprisingly. Um, there's not trainers in the original game, but uh, Route 1, the route that many trainers start on. And it's going to have trainers that have level 43 Pokemon, because they're douchebags. Like, seriously, imagine you're, you're a Pokemon trainer, you start at Pallet Town, you get a level 5 Bulbasaur. You got your route, and all of a sudden, we have a. There's, well, actually, uh, it's, we can't get a Cyndaquil. We already have a Cyndaquil, but there we go! See, I would have had Typhlosion normally anyway now, so I guess that sort of makes it better that I'm using Typhlosion. I don't know, it's kind of faulty logic, but. Anyway, um. Yeah, you, you so imagine you have like level 5 Bulbasaur, you're going to this trainer, and this trainer shows up, he's like, Level 43 Dragonite! Man, these. These trainers just ruined so many kids' days. Anyway, I need to actually catch a Pokemon, so I'll help you guys when I actually get one. It's a Magnemite. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. And also kind of, eh, because I can't really ever get a Magnezone. Just because, you know, I don't have a way to evolve Magnezone into Magnezone. There's no way in Gen 4 to do that, unfortunately, which is kind of dumb that they did that. So, that kind of blows, and because it's level 2, I really don't see half any incentive to actually get it. Which, uh, is unfortunate, because Magnemite's really cool. But I'm glad to have a Magnemite, just because it's a really cool Pokemon. So, uh, well, it's a Magnemite. We'll go with it. We'll roll with it. I mean, worst comes to worst, if I need Electro-type, Magneton isn't horrible, so it could be a good backup Electro-type anyway. And Electric Steel's, I mean, we've seen Electric Steel's actually really good typing. It resists the Electric Ice Core, which is nice. Anyway, all I'm going to name him after Argon Matrix, or any of Magnemite for a Matrix, which is kind of cool, but uh, he's a cool guy that co op LP of uh, Super Genius is going on currently. Uh, or, well, competitive LP, I guess would be more accurate. I need to do one of those someday. But uh, yeah, there, there's a Pokemon for Route 1. Cool beans! Anyways, so let's go ahead and head down to uh, Pallet Town, basically. I kind of completely passed pass this trainer up, and I should probably fight him. Uh, cause yeah, like I said, there's trainers and they have like level 43 Pokemon, which is just, they, they prey on the weak. They just lurk in Route 1, they just like, oh, hello kid, you just turn the game, you, 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 you just start out, huh, you got a level 5 Bulbasaur, well here, you can fight my level 43 for it, yeah, screw you, that should be, should be illegal to do that, such rip-offs, then again, you know, Pokemon, show Pokemon. no wonder we start from Johto, Kanto is full of dicks. But yeah, Pokemon Logic, you know, you can only take it so far. But uh, yeah, this guy has a Pidgey on everything. So uh, we'll go ahead and just surf it to death and uh, be on our merry way. But still, I, I, I just imagine like this 10 year old kid starting off, just starting off his Pokemon journey. And there's just these like super awesome trainers like already in his way. Just like cry, cry, cry. All the crying. Then again, the gym leaders in this game are like a gazillion levels anyway, so, you know, good luck against Brock if you're level 10 Bulbasaur, dude. Have fun of that. Levels, how do they work? Not very logically, I suppose. Anyway, this guy's a Jinx, which actually gives us a good chance to use our, uh, Flash Cannon, actually. Also, Ice Beam is our highest PP, uh, our highest, uh, base power move. It's technically true, actually, it's 95, and Surf, and surf is, uh... 90, and Flash Cannon is 80, I believe. I think that's how it is. I could be wrong. But anyway, Flash Cannon. Might as well go ahead and use it. That, that delay still disturbs me a little bit. Unfortunately, it's not... I don't think I, I can actually one-shot like the buzz of that, and I'm choiced, so I'm stuck in the move. So, I guess we'll just go out to Naka to take it. That seems to make the most sense. We'll just go ahead and do that. Come at me, bro! Uh, light screen? Okay, cool. You can do that. But yeah, Naka's gonna be really useful um, against the Fire Gym as well, just because I have Earthquake and I resist Fire Moves, and if he has anything like an Electric Move or a Grass Move to uh, counter the obvious Water Types or Ground Types that you'd want to bring against the Fire Gym or a Rock Type, um, you know, I, I can resist those as well. So Naka will definitely be a good defensive core for that fight. Uh, Naka, just in general, is an amazing defensive core, and I do not want to lose him ever, because that would be a travesty for sure. So, hopefully, knock on wood, 
never gonna lose Naka, at least hopefully not until the gym battle rematches, because I'm gonna need Naka for those for sure. Just dragon flying, a, a defensive dragon flying type can cover so many weaknesses, it's so good. I've never really been able to appreciate it until now. And also, it's can run the camera guy! Yeah, I'll take my picture, you can take my picture. You can take my, my picture any day, Cameron. Go ahead, Cameron. That, that took a long time for you to get your picture ready there, Cameron. You worried me there for a moment, Cameron. I will definitely go through those pictures by the end of the LP. There's so many extra things to do by the end of this LP. Anyway, may as well go ahead and fight this guy. Ace and uh, elite trainer, an ace trainer on Route 1. Talk about extra douchey. Douchey with a side order of douche fries. I don't know. Where am I going with this? Where am I even going with this, guys? I don't even know. We're going to surf the Absol. We're going to level up from this, and then we'll uh, go to just switch out to someone. And uh, be good to go from there. So Absol goes down. We already know how powerful Absol is, but he really doesn't have anything that can touch genius. Um, and I'm not going to get anything good for Napoleon at this point. I pretty much have Napoleon's final moves at this point. Alakazam's here. Um... Slowbro is probably the best to take it, because obviously any psychic move is going to be very nice for Slowbro to take. So we'll go for that. Or fighting moves, I, yeah, that's right, I guess you can go for a Focus Blast. It's going to still hurt, actually, because, I mean, Slowbro's physically defensive, not specially defensive. But not a Focus Blast, that's not going to hurt that much. And I can still go for a Surf and... You have Energy Ball? He has Energy Ball. He has Energy Ball. Ow! Ow! Well then, that... I, don't... I can't take another energy ball. Shit. Uh, well, you know who can take an energy ball? Naka can. So we're just switching in all the Pokemon here, but... Dang, Alakazam, you... you're scary, sir. With your energy balls and your focus blasts and all your crazy shit. Man, I'm glad that didn't crit. That could have killed. Anyway, um... Naka could take grass moves all day, every day. We already know this. And I'm pretty sure a Drag Claw is good enough from here, so we're going to go for the Psychic. I'm going to do a pretty hefty amount of damage. Wow. Alakazams are strong, man. They are they are not to be underestimated for sure, these elite trainers. Anyway, that'll finish off Alakazam, and then everyone just gets experience. I was not expecting the Energy Ball. That threw me for a bit of a loop there. Gotta be careful switching Slowbros against Alakazams. They tend to have Energy Ball, I suppose. Anyway, Naka's already gotten some experience, so we'll go ahead and uh, get more experience. Seems to be a good plan. And I believe this is the last train of Route 1, so we're almost done with Route 1. The original route. We can make it to Pallet Town and probably even make it down to maybe even to Cinebro Island in this video. I mean, no promises, but it could potentially be possible. Naka versus Ivysaur. Well, that seems like a good situation for me. I'm just going to go ahead and fly and probably one-shot the Ivysaur. And it's going to go for a Sludge Bomb, so uh, that's pretty scary. I got Leftovers Recovery. Always. Really? Really? Is, is that the game we're going to play? The, the Miss the Fly game? K. Okay. Well. K. Okay. Have fun with that. Let's go ahead and fly again. At some point, I should probably Roost to gain health back, but I'm pretty sure... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you can actually heal uh, somewhere in Pallet Town anyway. So it's not the biggest deal, but we'll fly. Take him down. Hopefully there will be a PC in Pallet Town so I can check Magnemite's st stats, but uh, if not, then I'll just check them the next chance I get, which honestly, I'm not even sure when the next chance I get is. I'm not sure if Cinnabar Island has one either. I think it, I'm pretty sure it has a Pokemon Center, but uh, might not necessarily. Because, uh, well, Cinnabar Island sort of exploded last time I remember. Um, I guess Fly is my best option. Holy shit, you have a... Oh! <laughs> oh god, please kill it. Oh god, please one-shot this thing. Oh god, oh no, oh no, oh no! Why do you have Blizzard? <sighs> Shit. Well, so much for me keeping Naka as a really def This is the episode I was sitting there talking about. Man, I really hope I can keep Naka, because that'd be really... Then it... I'm eating my own words. Um, nom, nom. Shit. 
Shit! Shit. I was not expecting the blizzard. And of course, you know, he doesn't go first that turn. Of course, he doesn't go first that turn. Seriously? Shit. That really sucks. Man. Hello, Ash's mom slash red. Blah, blah, blah. Man, not gonna fight against him, too. <sighs> Nuzlocke's are heartbreaking, guys. Nuzlocke's are heartbreaking. Ugh. Now we see my earthquake on him and everything. Anyway, uh, Daisy's. This is Daisy, by the way. I believe on certain days of the week you can get a haircut for your Pokemon that'll make them more friendly, but honestly, uh, it's not something I really need to worry about. If I ever am here, I actually don't know the, know the days off the top of my head when that happens. But maybe I'll show that at some point. Don't really particularly care for this episode. Man, these only can use fly too. I least I still have Drift drip on fly. But hello, Professor Oak! How's it going? It's going well. My Pokemon are dead. That's. Hey! You're, they're talking about me. Oh, you're talking to Elm. Well, cool. I don't even have. I don't even have a place where I can go put. I, I, there's not even a PC over here. Blah. Anyway, you can, uh, you can get a. Oh, you can kill a uh, yeah, Pokedex. Is, is, yeah, cool. I I don't really care. Um. So moving on. Um. Actually, there's a second option in there as well. Now I'm curious. Um. But yeah, once you get all the kind of gym badges, you can get something from Professor Oak. But uh. That's for later. Let's have a national Pokedex evaluator as well. We've seen 492 Pokemon. Man! We've almost seen... That, that might be every Pokemon, actually, at this point. I forgot how many Pokemon are in the game. I'm pretty sure... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised by this point if we've seen all 492 just from all the random battles. That would make sense that we've probably seen all of them, so... That's kind of... That, that's... That's an interesting thought, actually something to wrap your head around, I suppose. Anyways, uh, I'll switch out in here. We're going to surf down there and grab ourselves a Pokemon, I guess. So, uh, and then I'm probably just going to make my way back to, uh, I'll make my way back to Viridian City. I can, I can just go ahead and fly there, I guess. Or, well, no, I have to walk there now because my Pokemon flies dead. But, um, we'll go ahead and catch a Pokemon and we'll go from there. So, see you guys in a bit. More starters? Really? Is, is that necessary? Is, is another starter necessary at this point? I, I don't think so. That being said, I already... Ha oh, actually, no, I, I did have two grass types. And I don't really have any incentive to use this one over those two. Because Ludicolo and Tamal are pretty good grass types. He'll be uh, make a nice good backup though in case something tragic happens, especially if all the uh especially with the gym of the rematches, which are now gonna be all the tougher now that I lost Naka. Actually I can just go ahead and keep fighting with this thing and uh I can actually weaken this thing a bit for once, because it's level 35, which is a lot stronger than usual, so Look at that, that's interesting I guess. Alright, it's down to the red. We'll just go ahead and catch it. I've lost all my momentum of this episode. I'm just, I'm just, I'm actually upset. I am actually legitimately upset that we lost Naka. Because Naka is actually a really good Pokemon. Like, definitely one of the best ones I could have used. And it, it's, it's dead now. Uh, I was so good throughout Kanto. And then everything went to hell. But we got another starter, which is just absolutely, why do I get all the starters? It's kind of weird. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna name this one after S S O H K P blah, because he's an LP -er and actually I, I've watched some of his stuff before and he's pretty cool. So why not? Uh, I think that's how you, it goes, something like that. It's kind of a kind of a silly name. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna make my way back to Viridian to go bury the hatchet and check the stats on the Pokemon then. And then we'll make our way downwards. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, well. It's time to put a good friend to rest here. Naka, you 
you were an amazing Pokemon. The death total now goes up to 10. Ugh. Depressing. It's a modest one. Oh man, that is actually pretty good. But you're level 2 and I can't evolve you. So no. And you're relaxed, which means you have lower speed and higher defense. So also no, and I'm also... Well, I guess we're going to go to box 4 now. Yeah, I guess I might as well go to box 4 now. Um, cause I already have, I got, I have a full box. Oh man, I have also a full box of illegal Pokemon too. Uh, I, I'm still upset. But anyways, I'll meet you guys back in Pallet Town. I'll definitely say that the last few episodes have certainly been a kick in the pants though. Like, definitely a reality check, guys. Like, you don't screw up this game. I really hope I have enough repels now that I think about it. I definitely have six repels. I have a lot of surfing to do. This may not be have been my best decision, I guess. But we're going to have a lot of swimmers and fishers and other sorts of people to fight, so we'll get to that. I don't know if we're going to make it all the way to Cinnabar Island. I'm hoping we can, but uh, we shall indeed see. In the meantime, we'll level up Jolteon and begin to recoup our losses for losing Altaria. I mean, in the end, for everything it resists, I do have other options in the end. So, I mean, I'll, I'll make do. I definitely still have the special defensive prowess of Blissey to rely on, so there's that. I, I still will make do, but it is a very crushing, crushing, like, I, I didn't expect the blizzard. I, I truly, honestly did not expect the blizzard. Maybe I should have. Stormies tend to be versatile, but I guess I don't generally assume that the trainers use TMs in their Pokemon. I suppose after seeing Alakazam of Energy Ball, but it just wasn't a possibility that came to mind. It just wasn't. I don't care about your sunburn. My Pokemon's dead. All of the anger. Hello, fisherman. Well, I didn't want to get off the island, but sure, we'll fight anyway. Uh, what do you have? You have a shelter. Not very excited. Those ace, tra those, those ace trainers, those are always the ones to be worried about. They are always the scary ones. They always do the most damages and so on and so forth. You gotta be careful of them, man. You got to be careful of them. Or they will just make you cry. Utter failure. You couldn't have said it any better, my fisherman friend. Hello, you're on an island, Mr. Cameron Guy. Sure, you can take my picture. I'm a little upset right now, but uh, go ahead and do that, Cameron. Go ahead and have your little picture moment. See if I care. See if I care! Ha <laughs> I... Mother, I don't care. <laughs> I, I just don't care. I, I just don't really care. Not one bit. Anyway, Bird Keeper Kinsley, he has a far-fetched. Also knows a oh yeah, it's actually you know, he's a far-fetched. I always call it far-fetched D. People are like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like he's not a far-fetched D, he's a far-fetched. Well, there you go. I said it right now. One of many words that people are like, you say that weird, dude. Dude, stop. Dude, stop saying things weird. Dude, dude, dude. Anyways, uh, level 53, cool story, but, uh, I never healed Cholera. Oh well, I, I always have full restores and hyper potions to do that if I need to at some point. I'm gonna train Crab in the meantime though, because I think Crab's gonna learn something interesting in level 52, or level 53, so I might as well do that now. I know I can continue to train, uh, actually no, I can't really train Sliver up anyway. I don't know, I just, I just feel like training Crab for some reason, so we'll do that. This guy's going for like a zillion agilities, it's not going to really matter when I use return and pretty much one-shot this guy. So, good day, sir. Um, good night, sweet prince. So, that's the end of Firo. Goes down pretty hard. And the Pidgeotto, not really too worried about that. Another return will certainly finish it off. And that will be the end of that story. It's a critical hit, did not matter in the slightest, and Kinsley is down and out. And send the trainer over here, so let's get straight to that. We'll just do, you know, I'm hoping we can make, actually, how, I guess my question is how far down 
this route are we? Like, how long is this route? Um, we're like halfway there. We can probably make it to Cinnabar Island. Okay, there's a Pokemon Center in Cinnabar Island. Excellent. Excellent. Because I'm pretty sure Blaine is now over, like, a bit more to the east near, like, Seafoam Island instead is where his gym is. So we're not quite there yet. We still have a ways to go, I guess. This is a Rock-type Pokemon, so I'm going to go for Shadow Claw instead. Because, um, it's not resisted. And we can finish off in one hit. So, Zangus is... Zangus does have some pretty good offensive power. I'm glad I raised one. He's definitely an interesting Pokemon. Definitely an interesting Pokemon. So, I'll go for a Shadow Claw. I'm going to, uh, hopefully do the same thing. And one shot the course light, critical hit certainly will always help. The extra crit, crit chance on Shadow Claw, as we we're all aware of, thanks to Absol, who now has a better move thanks to Night, Night Slash. But that's another story. Uh, this guy seems to have an affinity for Corsa Luds. It's pretty exciting stuff, dude. Pretty exciting stuff. Really, more Corsa Luds. Okay, sure, sure. Sure. We can do that. We can certainly do that. Alright, so Bubble Beam's gonna hit. It's going to do a bit of damage, but nothing too much to worry about. I just realized we're almost out of trainers, really. Like, actually, in terms of actual trainers to fight, like, in terms of just, like, normal trainer battles. Because we have this route, we have the route east of Cinderbar Island, we have the route east of the Seafoam Islands, and I think that's pretty much it. So I don't think any other, other routes have trainers on them that I can think of off the top of my head. Like, we really are getting close to, like, 100% exploration rate, at least. Which is kind of interesting. Anyway. Next, trainer. Uh, electric Bikini. I... You may have a problem, miss. You may have a slight problem. Yeah. Anyway, gonna go for the return going to deal some hefty damage to the Azumarill, if not finish it off, because Silk Scarf Booster Return is really, really powerful. And that's going to be a level up, and this should be the move I've been looking for, I believe, if I remember correctly, and indeed it is close combat! So good. Going to replace X Scissor, and now I have something I can hit for Rocket Steel types. I can pretty much hit anything for super effective damage, and I have an also a really powerful return as well. So anything that return doesn't hit, I now have a super effective move against them. Which is a very good setup. Anyway, who's next on my list? Um, I'm going to go ahead and train Ludicolo, because he might be useful against uh, Blaine. So I might as well give him to level 53. It might be... I don't want to get off on this island. Freaking islands. Get out of the way, islands! No interest in you, islands! Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, that swimmer, swimmer, go home. You're drunk. Anyway, is that like oh, man? We still have a lot more trainers left to do. Repel, repel, dude, dude, dude. I'm okay. <sighs> Let's see if we can make it to Center Island. I want to make it to Center Island if I can. Really, I have to get off these guys to. You know what? Okay, drunk, sw drunk swimmer. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I'm looking at the time, I'm like, man, like, I know there's some stuff I have to cut out, but not... Actually, no, I guess there is more to cut out than I thought. It's probably about 25 minutes, I guess, right now, which is still kind of long. Yeah, you know, after this trainer, I'm just going to go ahead and end it for now, because Cinder by Island's not going to take too long, and I can probably make it all the way to Blaine by the end of next video. So... With that in mind, I can probably time it so it would be good. Because there's still, I don't know, there's still some trainers. Uh, we'll fight these two remaining fishermen, and if they, if there's more trainers, so... actually no, we have a repel on. Let's just head down, see how, how much longer this thing is, and we can decide how from there how, how many trainers are left over. Because if there's just only two more left, I might as well get them out of the way. So if we keep hanging down, there's a lot more trainers. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this next time. So this is Lucky 70 x signing out. We're going to just wait on this island. I'm going to stalk this fisherman from behind. And in the next episode, we'll battle him and other trainers and make our way basically down to Cinnabar Island and then over here where uh, we might even get to fight Blake. Ne Blake? No. Blaine. Next episode. We have Seafoam Islands to do still. We have... And that's really... Yeah, that is pretty much it in terms of the routes. Because the only other routes we haven't done would be these two. 
and that's for like end game. Well, I'll, I'll do it before I do anything else. I will be getting over there soon enough. So, really, things are wrapping up soon, and I'm gonna have to decide whether or not I'm going to do a train montage sometime soon as well, because that's definitely something I'm going to need to do at least before the final gym later. So, anyway, this is Lucky Seventy X signing out. See you guys next time. Bye bye.